whole book could be written about Prince and his childhood. Clearly a number of events, both good and otherwise, shaped the person Prince would become. However, this video will just take a brief look at how his musical development and the choices and attitudes he pursued led Prince onto the path of greatness. It often seems that people assume that Prince's success was somehow already written from the start and there is a danger that this denies the sheer hard work, dedication, smart choices, tenacity and some good fortune this took. It also denies the place of the people around him who worked with Prince and helped Prince to mould his career from the very start. Prince always was an independently minded artist imbued with great self-belief and confidence but it is easy to forget that he was also a product of his family background, his experiences and that he was influenced and inspired by the family and friends around him. Minneapolis may seem to some an unusual place for such an artist as Prince to bloom but in many ways it made sense. Matt Thorne in his impressively detailed book Prince writes that from his very early childhood to the present day, Prince has worked extremely hard, but still, he seems to have had a surprising number of people along the way who were not only prepared to help him with his ambitions, but immediately recognised the enormous talent they were witnessing. Thorne also notes that unlike LA or New York, opportunities in Minneapolis were limited, so working together to create a break for themselves made sense. Prince's father, irrespective of the ups and downs of their relationship, was clearly a source not only of inspiration, also musical motivation for Prince. His father's jazz background and Prince's attendance when still only five at one of his father's concerts clearly left a mark as he saw a host of attractive women surrounding him as the audience screamed. At seven Prince wrote a song called Funk Machine and later another titled Sex Machine. Prince was already an innately gifted musician and played most instruments flitting from piano to drums to bass to demonstrate a track to others. What was the band Prince was part of which eventually became named Grand Central or Grand Central Corporation played mostly covers, original tracks were starting to develop as their confidence grew. One aspect of Prince's character that was already apparent was his perfectionism. After Pepe Willie asked Prince to join his band 94 East and the band recorded a series of five songs at the Cookhouse recording studio, Prince insisted on being let back into the studio to correct aspects he was initially unhappy with. This aspect of Prince developing and improving tracks over time is apparent when you listen to the various versions of the track for you. It is also apparent in other tracks, such as Soft and Wet. Or Just As Long As We're Together. The combination of Prince's innate talent, a ridiculously dedicated work ethic and a group of people who believed in Prince such as producer Chris Moon with whom Prince developed his studio wizardry or Owen Husney who developed Prince's mystique propelled Prince forward. However a number of clever decisions were also made at the beginning of his career. Firstly the record deal that Prince entered into with Warner Brothers was absolutely crucial to his success. The three album deal allowed Prince time to master creating a record and to wisely use the time to develop his sound and his stagecraft. By also, alongside Husney, negotiating a deal which allowed Prince to produce himself, Prince was making a statement. There was an initial resistance to the idea, but after proposing other producing alternatives, Prince and Husney stood firm. Husney also quickly realised that less was more with Prince, and he wasn't someone who enjoyed talking to press and reporters particularly, and so they made this reticence a true selling point. Prince was portrayed as an enigma, a mystery, hugely talented, a genius, but unknowable, aloof, different. These traits were clearly a part of Prince rather than something imposed by management, as Prince remains mysterious and always did. Whilst throughout his career Prince is given many interviews, they often pose more questions than they answer, and are philosophical and reflective rather than specific. 
all these aspects, the innate talent, the work ethic, the coterie of people around him, the smart and sometimes challenging business decisions, all became hallmarks of Prince's career. And whilst at this stage the true depth and height of his genius was still for the world to discover, if you look hard enough, several signs were already there in Prince. It was now time for Prince to show the world what he could do.